Hi, this is Melanie with Red Clover Reader. We at Red Clover Reader are creating a diverse online digital library. And our mission is to help independent authors reach a wider audience while giving parents better screen time alternatives and developing young readers. Today we are talking to Keith Beckman, who is author of, so is it the Molina series? Yes, Melina's Zoo and Melina's Farm Adventure so far. Great. So Keith, can you tell us a little bit about your background and what led you to children's literature? Yeah, so I was in the military for eight years and got out of the military and worked in the retail world. And while I was in the retail world, I actually wrote a book but put it on the shelves for many years. And one of those things that I didn't have time to complete, nor was I an illustrator. So it just kind of sat on the back burners for about 10 years. And then I found my brother-in-law and asked him one day if he would write or illustrate our children's books. And he said, I've always wanted to illustrate children's books. So it worked out great. Yeah, well, that's a really convenient way to find an illustrator. Cool. So you have a lot of now, your books deal with um, dyslexia. That's correct. How did, how did you get inspired to write about dyslexia? Or to have so, in, your, in your work? Yeah, so I had uh, many challenges reading and writing when I was younger. And fortunately, my mother helped me a lot. But I had to spend a lot of extra time. And I still have trouble today with mixing up the letters and the order of words and even sometimes numbers. And there's different forms of dyslexia on that. But writing that book 10 years ago, I hadn't realized that I had written it because of that. And we decided that it was a great platform to kind of help kids and parents read a book that talked about dyslexia at the same time, help them learn and spell different words. Yeah, I don't think I've ever um, encountered a children's book about dyslexia that even broached that subject before. Was that something that you, did you read any books about dyslexia when you were a kid struggling with it? Nope, not a single one. They didn't really know back then what it was or how important it was or even the effect or the scale of it. And today as we know it now, ironically, the state of Indiana, for example, just passed a law that every school every elementary school has to have a dyslexic teacher at their school or at least someone that can teach about dyslexia dyslexia in their school uh, and in the next two years. Oh, that's great. That's really great. I think that'll help a lot of kids. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about the main character, Melina? Yeah, so Melina, and uh, you'll see in the name of Melina, you can actually, if you look at it in a dyslexic form, there's a hidden secret. And it's M-A-L-I-N-A-S for Melina's Adventures. But if you change up the letters just a little bit, you'll see A-N-I-M-A-L-S. Okay. So we use that name on purpose. So uh, animals? And, yeah, that's correct, animals. Yep. <laughs> I would not have noticed that, so I think... <laughs> Yeah, it's like one of those subtle things that you love to find out about books until, you know, you don't find out about them until a lot later. Well, I gave you the secret already. I'm sorry. <laughs> the illustrations are done by your brother. They're really charming. I really like the ones in um, Farm Adventure, especially the one of the rooster. I think that one is um, super cute. Yep, in the Farm Adventure, and the premise behind the books, again, is to help parents and kids get some reading time together and have a little fun with it as well. Uh, the words are scrambled up, so you'll see Sir Root is actually Rooster. And the illustrations obviously are very colorful, and we're very proud of those. Uh, they're all hand-drawn by my brother-in-law. Oh, and wow. I'll give you a, yep. He generates the, the colors with computers and the shading with computers, but he hand draws all of these on a huge pad. So here's another example of that. These are little pink gips. And actually they are pigs. 
And the one nice feature about the farm book versus the zoo book is in every page, the, the children get to learn about a color and a fun fact about the animals. In the zoo, it, they just learn a fun fact about the animal. So that's the upgrade we made in the farming uh, book. So are you working on any new books right now? Do you have anything in the works? Yes, we actually had a, on our Facebook, Melina's Adventures, we had a team of Facebook fans vote on the next one. They had two choices, the desert or the ocean. So they had picked the ocean about three months ago, and I actually just finished writing the ocean, Melina's Ocean Adventure. So now we're in illustration mode. Great, great. And is that also going to talk about dyslexia too? Well, I'd dyslexia also be a theme in that one too? Absolutely. Yeah, everyone will have a dyslexia theme. Uh, oh, another mention I forgot to point out is this is in Dyslexia Font, which is a new font developed by Christian Boyer over in the UK. And he developed this font because he is dyslexic and the words that are written with in the book are in that font. The font has... Go ahead. About, yeah, I've heard a little bit about that. Can you Can you say a little bit more about it? Yep, so the dyslexia font changes the, the orientation of the letter so that people with dyslexia can actually read it a little bit easier. Um, and in fact, uh, two months ago, uh, American Express, the well-known um, company, has decided to change almost all of their literature to d the dyslexia font. Wow, that's really interesting. So that's... Uh, people with dyslexia. I think that'll be great. Yes, yeah, d definitely help with the not only the, the reading of the words, but also the, the orientation of how the letters are used. Yeah. Well, Keith, we'd love to um, we'd love to stay in touch. We'd love to know uh, and learn about what's coming up next with you. Um, I'm also interested in what you do in your spare time. It seems like you're a pretty busy guy. You have kids, and you're an author, and um, but I'd love to hear a little bit about what you do in your, for your hobbies. Yep, so I uh, currently run uh, 5Ks and support of different causes. So we just ran, I just ran a 5K um, last weekend, and it was for a particular cause here locally. And that's one of the fun hobbies that I really like to do to kind of help give back to the community. and. You know, obviously, it's actually kind of painful because you run a 5K race. <laughs> That's not the easiest thing to do, but it's a great cause, and, and we love to help support those uh, that, and give back. Uh, we also help with the Dyslexia Foundation here locally, and we help support funds that we raise by selling those our books, and we give back to give people. Uh, in particular, there's two girls that we're helping right now get uh, a program called Orton Gillingham which teaches uh, these young girls with dyslexia um, how to cope with dyslexia and get and try to get through learning and reading better. A portion of the proceeds from your book go to that. Um, Correct, yep. And it, it'll show on... Orton, can you say the name of that again one more time? Orton... Orton Gillingham. It took me a while to get that down. I'll look, I'll look that up because that's the first Okay, thing. yeah. It took, me about, it took me about 20 tries to get that pronunciation correct. Great. Well, for our viewers and readers, you can check out Melina's Farm Adventure on the Red Clover Reader platform. Keep an eye out for Keith's upcoming work about the ocean and dyslexia. And Keith, before we conclude, I'd love to ask you um, if you can leave our readers some tips either about developing as a young reader or maybe about being able to become uh, an enthusiastic reader even with um, challenges like dyslexia. Yeah, I, I would say just never give up. Uh, it took us two and a half years to make Melina's Zoo Adventure and it took us a year and three months for the farm adventure. And so you may struggle today, you may not, you may want to complete something right now, but just realize that uh, things do take time, and with a lot of uh, patience and practice and help, uh, you can accomplish anything. Okay, great. Thanks.
thanks so much, Keith. It was great talking to you. We look forward to your new work. And please check out Melina's Farm Adventure on our platform. Again, this is Melanie with Red Clover Reader, and we're talking with Keith Beckman, author of Melina's Farm Adventure and Melina's Zoo Adventure. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, and have a great rest of your evening. All right, you too. Okay, bye for now. Keith. All right, bye bye.